Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to the here with this fan mission, Ascend the Dim Valley. That's right, we're back playing Thief once again. Was gonna hold off until one of the series finished, but they're not finishing anytime soon. So I guess we're just gonna have four series. Sure, why not? I have no idea how YouTube works. Maybe this will be good. Maybe it'll do something for the algorithm. Who knows? <laughs> uh. If nothing else, at least I'll be doing less of Disco Elysium, which is fun, but exhausting. But never mind that. So yeah, we're, not, we're playing a fan mission this time, not a campaign like the last couple of times, like most of what I've been doing actually. Be but I do have, well, I've been, ever since the last one I did, I've been collecting some, of, uh, some fan missions that caught my eye. I haven't been able to find another campaign that has really c captured my interest like the previous ones have. And I've been burned a couple of times <laughs> with regards to that. Uh, so, yeah. Just gonna do a, a series of individual missions, because why not? This one's Ascend the Dim Valley, which is, as the name implies, a very a vertical mission, supposedly. <laughs> Which, uh... Could be really fun, or could be dick-rippingly frustrating, depending on how well the, the person who made this managed to wrangle the climbing mechanics of this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was, I was attracted to this because... <laughs> the description, as well, as well as stating some rather interesting things, like saying that there are no invisible enemies. Is that a common thing in the fan missions? I haven't seen it. Maybe there's a lot of those in some of the less popular ones. But it it almost sounds like they're, they're saying, you know, there are definitely no invisible enemies. Wink. <laughs> Also, no keys slash loots are hidden under furniture, that's good, or inside solid objects. Is that a common thing? And there are no micro switches. Any hidden switches that may or may not exist would be normal size. Which is, yeah, that's good. But the, uh, so that, well, that but the main thing that attracted me was the last line. Try mantling on everything. Well, I already do that all the time. I just rarely get rewarded for it. Uh, or when I do, it's usually because I've broken the map slightly. <laughs> or significantly, in some cases. So that sounds... intriguing. So anyways, there's no uh, briefing cutscene, but there is a briefing on the page. Let me read it out for you once again. My fence claim said, after years of searching, some eccentric old coot struck upon a way into Cragget Mence, that sunken gash in the mountains up north. The whispers of riches from this ancient crevasse have been around forever, but nobody's had the faintest idea how to get in, until now. This geriatric wants me to make use of his discovery by acquiring the Iron Facade for him. Following a long stretch of decay after they were abandoned by whatever precursor culture built them, the immense ruins of Kragenmentz became home to a tribe of supposedly human squatters. Either they forgot how they stumbled their way in, or they found the debris so alluring that they ditched their nomadic lifestyle in favor of propping up their own ramshackle housing in its midst. Rumor has it that some parochial power struggle is raging between two clans in this overstuffed fissure, but sourcing reliable information has proven difficult. Fragments is legendary, but I've only ever seen mention of the Iron Facade in the Keeper's most profane archives. Heh, <laughs> guess that settles who the old timer is. I always suspected there would be some passage above ground. One look at the towering landscape should have put that suspicion to bed. Good news is, the cave system dumps me out at the squalor infesting the base of the valley. 
I'm not likely to stand out amongst the filth. It's a chore, but I wouldn't miss it. Besides the trinket my client wants, there should be enough material culture lying around to make the arduous trip worth my while. All right, so far so good. We've got ancient ruins, we've got weirdo squatters, we've got dubious fellows sending us on dubious scavenger hunts for dubious old relics. Yeah, that sounds like Thief, all right. Honestly, the guy did a pretty good job of imitating the, uh, the speech pattern of Garrett, so to speak, in that briefing. All right, expert, because what other difficulty is there? Oh, oh yeah, by the way, there's another thing that caught my eye in, in the thing, on the page, where it mentioned that... Uh, <laughs> That, you know, you are not missing any gameplay or content on lower difficulties. Expert has slightly less equipment and slightly fewer guards, but loot is identical for all. Slightly fewer guards on the highest difficulty. That's, that's a new one, I'll admit. Speaking of new ones, I don't know what the deal with, is with this. The, both of these buttons seem to do the same thing. I assume it's some hacky workaround to some weird, hard-coded limitation, or some such. Let's go to Ascenda. Let's see. You're confident that one of the families vying for power in Kragenmans has the iron facade. It's just a matter of stealing it, once you know for sure. Should be easy to make a profit from this trip. You know half a dozen collectors of obscure junk who'd love anything from this sequestered dump. That kinda rhymes. Steal 3,500 worth of valuables. No risk of the Baron's dog coming down on you, but the valley might have its own brutal rules for punishing killers. Best avoid becoming one. The keepers might have an intellectual interest in this hole in the ground, but you couldn't care less about that. Head back as soon as you can. Alright. Sounds good. Go in. Oh, no shop. Just going right in. Okay, what do we got? Sword, blackjack, good. One water arrow and one moss arrow. That's good. Two rope arrows. Should be all I need. Uh, lockpicks, compass, and that's it. Okay. Well, aside from the very limited supply of water arrows and moss arrows. Ooh, slightly less limited. <laughs> but. All. Well, should be all, uh, all I need. I mean, just, just starting out with a blackjack and sword is certainly better than last time. <sighs> right. Here we go. Climbing out of the muck, so to speak. Let's see. Hi. Here we go. Uh... Well, that's not helpful. Oh, wait, hang on. There we go. Oh. Oh, hello. Doink. Guard. Mm. Nope. <clears throat> Damn it. At least I didn't take damage that time. So. There's a guard. <laughs> if I jump across here, maybe I can... Shit. Ah! Really wish you had mantled there, but all right. okay then. I can... Climbing mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. 
Apparently you jump out oh. hard enough into a broadhead arrow, including the non-pointy end, and you take damage. I had no idea that was a thing. I guess you live and learn, or you die. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. I had jumped, I probably would have landed hard on there and then made a sound. Someone making noise. Nope. Just your imagination. Running away with you. There we go. That was pretty fun. Having to find a way of leaping across there. Just the right ways to outmaneuver the guy. Hopefully the rest of this mission continues in a similar way. I'm just- I'm back here, goddammit. Do that. Easy to lose track of where you are when you're... well. When you're well. <laughs> Let's see. Uh huh? Flash bomb, very nice. Broadhead arrows, could be useful. Boy, this mission is quiet. Too quiet. What am I gonna get ambushed by the mission itself? <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. Okay, that seems like a pretty important area, so let's go anywhere but there, then. Oh yes, the classic waterfall coming from nowhere. A, a thief staple. You never know if that's, like, just a... You know, tiny detail they're not supposed to notice, or if it's actually magic or something. Hello? Is that actually something? Hmm, I don't think so. Damn. Maybe if I... No. Ooh. Yes! I saw that flash. Oh yeah! Star Wars, baby! It was on the other side. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be able to even get in here yet. Anyways. Hot damn. Okay. Let's swoosh right in. Not a fan of all of this metal, I'll be honest. But it is a vent. As long as I'm very careful by mantling and all that. Okay then. Oh, oh dear. Okay, then. That's there. The other one goes... So it looks like a barracks, maybe? What? <clears throat> Excuse me? Said there. Help! Where the fuck did you come from? What? Huh? What? Okay. 
I don't know enough about quantum physics to understand this map. But hey, I've got the Super Ward Keeper's Key, whatever that means. Is it the Keeper of the Super Ward, or is it the Super Ward for the Keepers? Or something like that, I don't know. Okay, I think I must have triggered something early by swooshing my way into there, when I'm not supposed to be able to get there yet. I wonder if anything else has changed. Oh, hello! Do you go anywhere? Doesn't seem like it. Oh well. Free rope arrow. Aha! Okay. I think that's everything. And if not, well, it sucks to be me. Man, it wrinkles. It's like so fucking close to getting into getting up there. If only that top layer of that stuff would actually support a rope arrow. Or if I had like one fucking crate. Or if I could move one of these. Oh well. If wishes were fishes then beggars would ride. Which I'll find some way around there. Come on. Okay. We do go up here or there. Let's go high, you know? As I always say, when in doubt, get high. Oh, hi. Body disposal area over here. Well, not that convenient, but. Oop! Blink. Let's see. Can I get him? Maybe not. Or he could very obligingly walk over to the carpeted area so I can very easily take him out. Much obliged. Here I was thinking about like how I could, you know, navigate the marble and all that to take him out and then he just comes right over. How polite of him. Aha! Map! Is it actually a good map? It's not terrible. <laughs> oh, hi. Sir? There's, there's no need to call me sir, guard. I'm just a man trying to make my way through the world. Aha! Now I'm high. Maybe even a bit too high. Fake door. Real door. Oh, just back there. Okay then. Oh boy. Damn. Well, fuck. I can tell this one is going to be going to be very challenging to even keep track of where I am. Captain of the Guard. Oh, time to pay him a visit. Evening, gent. I just want to say you're doing a bang-up job so far. Randier, 
The premise is simple. If some malefactor were to dispatch you during an attempt on the skull, they would have the key right at hand. With the first key in my quarters, we increase the chances that an intruder will be caught before they can access it. You ought not see this as a mistrust of your ability. Given what's at stake, I wouldn't have assigned you to guard the skull if I had any doubts. P.S. It doesn't help that this first lock remains so vulnerable. See to it that the smith replaces the whole damn mechanism. Key in your quarters, huh? Well, it doesn't seem to be in here, so this must be a letter to him from someone else, then. And that's just- that just seems like rank paranoia. I mean, how could you possibly think that someone could sneak into his room, knock him over the head with a blackjack or some such, and steal the key? That's just crazy talk. Oh, yes. My favorite. Oh. Hello. How did I know there'd be something down there? Uh, love it when the map makers actually put real food rather than just food <laughs> textures on stuff that can't actually be picked up. Because stealing people's food. <laughs> Even more fun than stealing their loot. You know, eating them out of house and home and all that. You don't get that kind of joy of ta snatching food from people's mouths, so to speak, by stealing valuables. Or maybe you do here, if these people apparently eat rocks. Okay. <clears throat> That's a new one. Well, okay, sure, why not? <clears throat> or at least I know where to go if I want to eat dirt cheap. <sighs> so what was that skull they were talking about? A crystal skull, perhaps? Huh? What is this? Letter from Super Ward contains key location. Oh, that's that's a neat little feature. Wait, do they mean key location as in a location that is key or a location of the key? Because it's both. Because they're recovered from the source of ancient magic. But yeah, that's actually pretty neat. It, it mentioned that there wouldn't be any... That the... Uh, that's really having it not only be able to carry around with you use the prudent information, but also have it actually have the guy actually like label it as that. That's kind of neat. That's the sort of thing I'd do if I could actually create labels myself. So, short of being able to do that, the nice feature. You know, just for categorization purposes, being able to more quickly sift <sighs> through the junk. Ooh. Hello. You're not junk, though. You're treasures. Angled a little too far this way, I think. Oh, now he's even more angled this way. And now he's angled at the floor. As he should be. I wonder if that thing, like, mentioning that there were... You were so, uh, guards on the high difficulty. What is it like actually true? 
and it's just like a really odd thing, or is it just like a typo? I could see it going either way. Just like me. Uh. And it's not like I'm going to be playing through this whole thing three times on each difficulty. Or three times, one on each difficulty, rather. Uh, I'm not going to be doing either, actually. <laughs> to, like, compare it. it was no Though the world may never know. Seriously, what the fuck is a super reward, anyways? Residence of the super reward. Oh, that's what. I guess. It's a person. Of some kind. Yeah. Western wall exit. Nice, nice. Thought I saw something. Not a big fan of how cramped the stairs are. Standing very still and being very silent. I should really read that webcomic sometime. I've heard good things about it, but. I've read a bit of it, but. I don't know, I just haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> half, most, half of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. And the other half. are me. <laughs> Is half of my view hey, is it from me? What was that? Naturally. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. Oh well. I am not doing a good job of hiding these bodies. Am I? Camera one? Ah, damn it. Cameras, huh? That's a tad concerning. <laughs> One nice thing about all this verticality... It's bloody hard for... guards to chase you around. <laughs> because... And because NPCs can't jump. Because NPC men just can't jump. <laughs> Come on. Thanks for great places to hide bodies. Mm. Ah, here we go. The skull. Oh. Yeah, he wasn't kidding about this big so damn easy to get through. God damn. Not so for this, though. Kind of an... Okay, let's try and find that key. So we did mention... The first key. Which might mean that it just goes to the first lock, which means it's useless to me. But, oh well. Such is life. Uh, 
Oh god, I can just tell already that I'm going to get hopelessly lost in here. Come on. There is disharmony here. Oh. <coughs> ah, crap. <coughs> mages. I am not going to be the one to die to some mage. Let's see. Oh, shit. Coming this way. Ooh. Second skull key. Oh. Well, that was easy. All right. Let's go use this then and fall prey to whatever other security measures they have. Uh, assuming I can fucking find it. That is. This, uh, this might take a bit. Ah, here we go. And it only took me five years. All right. Oh, wait. Now, time for, it, for me to grab the skull and it for it to horribly maul me. Or not. The skull of Mott. Yay. Actually, hang on. Let me just, uh... Save here. Then take the skull. You know, just in case I accidentally unleashed an ancient evil of some kind. Which I probably did. Okay, so I have this skull now! Yeah! Neat! <laughs> Well, I guess better to have and know no need than to know a need and have not. Hello? Oof. Got there by the skin of my nose. But I got there. To reward Ducre, who lights our valley with the ancient secret. Well, you guys better hope that the ancient secret isn't this skull, because if so, you're screwed. Important document? Question mark? I see. It's pretty neat that they were able to like have it so that the items change name once you read them. That's really cool. Ratified hereby and withal. Withal. Vizier Il Taran and Super Ward Dutre in presence. In presence. Cessation of hostilities under provision of the following terms. Conditions for the estate of Vizier Il Taran. 1A. Permanent safekeeping of Ducre item, the Iron Facade. Okay, so it's in the estate of the Vizier guy then. Which means I think I'm in the wrong place. Safekeeping of Ducre hostage, Elena. Elena? El uh, something. An age of four years. For five years from date of signature. Conditions for the estate of Super Ward Ducre. 2A. Permanent safekeeping of Il Taran item Skull of Mat. Got it. 2B. Safekeeping of Il Taran hostage Glane. Age of 8 years. For 5 years from date of signature. 
Failure to uphold stipulations he, will rightfully void this suspension of violence, and any exchanged goods or persons that remain will be destroyed as equitable retribution. Well, I better grab that quick then. <laughs> Witnessed and confirmed by the common authority 5 in Erntomanat 829. Vizier <laughs> Super Award. <laughs> okay. Armstice. <laughs> New. The iron facade was exchanged for the skull of Mont as a guarantor of the armstice. The skull must be a similar value. Steal it. Well, been there, done that. Uh. I hate you so much. I, I despise tiny little rings. At least the this one had a right had a red ruby on it or whatever. So at least it was somewhat visible. If, if that had been like a, one of those regular tiny little rings, it would have been miserable. Oh. I guess I can probably drop these now. Just their work. Recover from the source of ancient magic. I like I like to keep my inventory clear, you know. Well maybe you don't. What the heck is this? Okay. Oh shit. Is it just me or do those look much lower quality than Oh I see. It's a much smaller campfire thingamajig, but scaled up, so they look very pixely, so to speak. Well, I find it kind of funny, and a kind of sad, that pixely refers to there being less pixels. Isn't that kind of funny? Oh well. It makes sense, of course, because it's referring to the pixels being more obvious. But still. There's no second part to that sentence, just but still. Ooh. Ah, didn't mention that some of the windows could be open to be opened. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Not even close. Huh. Probably wouldn't even notice it without that little red light. I wonder if that's why they've got that, like, game design wise. Make them more apparent. Who knows? Could just be a happy accent. Okay, that's. This is the super award residence. That might be the vizier. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to return, of course, to get more of the loot, but I might as well try and knock off the main objectives. First, you are kidding, right? How many times have we gone over this with him? Tell him if he even offers to pay the invoice with carrots, carrots again. He'll, we'll do a little experiment with how good them veggies grow when they're shoved up his arse.
keep thinking those are like five items. They look kind of like the rolled up paintings. Which took me a while to figure out. Uh, back when I... I saw that. Back when I first played this game, it took me a while to realize that's what they were. Rolled up paintings. Hello. That sounded very strange. <laughs> Hello. Beautiful. Ah, playing hard to get, are you? I got just the tools for that. Alright, bit of cash. How much was that? Hang on. 52. Nice. 100. Now, what is this that you're hiding in your rear? Got some junk in your trunk. Scroll hidden in guild roof. Guild. Whatever. Luceda. Luceda? Sure. I sympathize with your cause. Should it come to pass and an indictment be successful, you have my assurance that leniency would carry. With Mott be the glory, Zarn. Okay. I don't know what that means. So there's, there's no loot hidden under furniture, but there are levers, huh? Fair enough. Where is this? Yeah. There. Isn't a way out of here, is there? Okay, this is a dead end. But a profitable one, so... Oh well. <laughs> I love these windows, by the way. They look so charmingly low. What's the term? Fidelity? They look so charmingly... Pixely. <gasps> okay. I need to remember not to incautiously lean like that. Uh oh. Did that alert him? I think that alerted him. Sorry, two guys. Goddamn. Well. How about I instead Hmm that sounded funny. Okay. Well, it wasn't quite what I was trying going for, but it worked. And success was in fact what I was going for. What? Shit. Okay. What was that? Shit. It was an alert, but not a full alert. I see you. Damn it. Huh? Okay, wasn't a full alert. <sighs> What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. Don't you worry your pretty little head over it. Over it. About it. Well, this guy's gonna be pretty hard to hide in. Oh, goddammit. Can I even get back up? Oh. Okay, I couldn't tell what the fuck that was. It What it was in that image. He's so oriented weirdly. Yeah. You know, it was... Demi-sexual. 
<laughs> uh. I don't know why I'm going down like this, but oh well. Give me a... Give me a break, J Jalen. I inform you of a very important inconsistency, and that's the response you give me. You honestly don't find it the least bit odd that the Vizier uses electric lights in that sinister den of his, and not the wondrous gift he's foisted upon the valley. I'm not having it. At least with fire, I know the risks I'm dealing with. <laughs> ah, hypocrisy. If we didn't have double standards, we wouldn't have standards at all. Did you What's see happened? something? Oh, the rope arrow. happened to you? Guess this furniture fell on you or something? The fact that neither of these seem to really care about dealing with the body implies that it might have been a murder. Most foul. Man, imagine murdering people. Cringe. As the great Technoblade once said, if you see someone murdering, you should immediately call them a boomer. What the heck is this? What? Okay. Sure. That might as well be a thing. Oh. What? The fuck? Yeah. Sure. I can't even hazard a guess as to what that's supposed to be. Guild of Fine Woodworkers. Okay. So what the fuck is that red stuff? Red wood? I don't know enough about quantum physics to understand this map. Oh boy. Wait a minute, hang on. I'm right back where I started. Oh, that's great. Okay, with with that, this seems like a good time to stop. I am trying to do quarter episodes after all, and this is not particularly short. Oh well, I'll see what I can do in editing. Honestly, though, I think the main problem there, with regards to how long my episodes are, is my complete lack of understanding of how to edit. I mean, I can edit things, obviously, but I've got no idea what the fuck to cut out and what to keep, you know? Well, maybe you don't. I certainly don't. And I'm not exactly getting any feedback at all about that sort of stuff. Not that I blame you. Well, I slightly blame you, but it's not like you guys are experts on that sort of stuff. Well, I guess technically you are. You're experts on what you like. Well, no, I guess a lot of people don't really know themselves. Whatever. Enough ossified philosophizing. Oop! Whoops. Okay then. <laughs> 39 39. Nice. 
So, without any further ado, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.